Hey guys, welcome to the Retro Gaming Junction. This is Camilio, and we're live on Twitch pretty much every day at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. We're continuing the Star Trek Trek, warping through all the Star Trek games, and now we're at. Uh, we've played the Strategic Operation Simulator, the arcade original. Now we're gonna play all the ports. I didn't think I was gonna be able or wanted or whatever, but. Fuck it, yesterday I've installed like seven or eight emulators <laughs> from different system. So we have the Atari 2400, which is this. Then we have the Atari 8-bit. Uh, and the Atari 5200 version is the same thing. Hey, Zero Dine! The Coleco version, uh, Coleco Vision version. <laughs> the Commodore 64. The VIC-20, which most people don't even know exists. I knew because one of my friends had one. A TI-99. I don't know what, what that is. That's a Texas Instrument stuff. Hey, bass. Uh, it looked like a keyboard. I'm going to look up the wiki uh, and, and kind of describe what the system are in between. So, And then the Apple II. And then we'll finish with the DOS version, which is actually not an official version. Um, but somebody made a DOS version, so... Yeah, Star Trek. Let's start this up. Uh, this one has controllers. Some of them, I wasn't able to make the controller work. I mean, <sighs> it was already a fucking hassle to make all these games work. So, let's press the button. That's it. Simple as that. This is very rudimentary compared to the air. Uh... I guess that worked. Oh yeah, this is different. Oh, this is a base. Oh yeah, you can actually get that base. If I don't hit the fucking mines. <laughs> This is the... Um, the Atari style where they would do the flickering and multiple light always fascinates me even today. It just... It's so beautiful. <laughs> oh fuck. I wanted to talk about that, like, it, while we're playing these very old consoles, what are your first consoles that you played? Not the one that you owned, but the first one that you played. Because for me, I'm pretty sure, I don't have much memory about it, but I'm pretty sure it was the Calico version. You would just say Calico. But the Atari was so popular, even when Nintendo Super Nintendo came out. Everybody, Atari, Atari. And then later, ColecoVision. And then I saw ColecoVision, I was like, oh, the Coleco. <laughs> yes. I didn't have one, but like the fucking, um, uh, the, the, the controller with all the, the, with the numpad on it. Because uh, Atari 2600, I didn't see much of those when I was young. 
I didn't see much of those. Nope. Nope, nope. Like, I mean, I saw them eventually, but when I was young, 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 pretty sure n none out of these. The Coleco was a... Uh, well, it must have been a friend of my, uh, of my parents. Because it wasn't my cousins or anything like that. It was a Coleco vision. And somebody else must have had... Uh, the first one I played was the first one on the Sears license Pong machine. Holy shit. Wow. That is old. <laughs> Turn! Somebody must have a must have had a Commodore 64 because I remember distinctively uh, the Maniac Mansion scene where somebody would give Pepsi to the uh, the plant and other stuff. But I remember that and I was like Pepsi in a video game and well I didn't maybe I didn't react like that when I first saw it, but when I remembered it later. Oh yeah, that was that fucking game. I kind of have the same experience with the uh, fuck with the Evil Dead series, where the only memory I had was, was somebody talking about it. Fuck. Somebody explaining the scene. Where, holy shit! Yeah, this shit. Oh my god. Ah. This is what they call the Nomad. It's kind of like the boss. Now we're at sector 2, I think. Like before I replay Media Mansion, it took like years. I played Zack McCracken before it. Thinking for a long time that Zack McCracken was be came before Maniac Mansion because Maniac Mansion for me was so much better. <laughs> I like it so much better than uh, Zack. Zack McCracken might be my least favorite of all the LucasArts games. Uh, Twenty-four hundred. Oh, is that not true? Is that not the right? <laughs> Am I a dumbass? It was a 2600, right? No, well, I'm confused. It was the 5200. All these fucking. Oh, okay, I'll have to correct that. I thought I looked at the wiki, just to be sure, because I'm so confused with these fucking naming, naming of the consoles. Because the Atari 8-bit is also... is also named Atari 400 and Atari uh, 400, 800, 800XL, I don't know, there's so many. And I was like, what came first? What What's better than the other? It's so confusing. Actually more confusing than nowadays, which is actually very confusing. Yeah, they start with the 2600 and then jump... Yeah, it's, you're right, it's 2600. Okay, I'm gonna correct that immediately. Because this will go on YouTube, so I'm dead. People will say, hey, you, mean, you fucker. Did you, so you're saying that in Canada there was a misprint? <laughs> that is funny. That is funny. Well, that's the reason. <coughs> uh, oh, it's, it's right here. Of course that's the reason. There you go. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we played this. That's, that's it. Atari. That's the Atari version. Um, 
Well, at least you made light of the. Let, let's see. Let's see it. Let's research it. But yeah, so we have mean. Well, uh, poop. Atari twenty six hundred. If I type in Atari twenty four hundred. It says Atari, there is a side that lists Atari 2400. Wow. Holy shit. I wasn't the same. I wasn't the only one that was confused. <laughs> Holy shit. I have the box in front of me. It says Atari 2400. Holy shit. Holy shit. And that's the reason they had to redo the box, because why not use the U.S. box? It's because in Canada, because of us, because of Quebec, essentially, and they have to put French label on it. And I'm sure at the back of the box, there was some English and French text. And for some reason, it's so weird, because you would think... Well, that wasn't back in the... Like, nowadays, I would just send you the, uh, like the Atari 2600... Photoshop file, and then you would put it on your thing, you would redo it, whatever. Not back then. I don't know exactly how they did that. Yep. Somebody fucked up. <laughs> Somebody fucked up big time. Wow. It's funny because if you type in Atari 2400 on Google, there's a bunch of stuff on it. Like, it actually exists. Maybe that's what happened. I typed that, and I was like, oh, yep. Yeah. 2400, that exists, because it says here, uh, unread it, any Atari 2400 fans, um, yeah, <laughs> anyways, so this was the Atari version, it's actually quite bad, let's see the other ones, and I don't think this is the worst, but it's actually one of the, the Coleco version seems to be one of the best, so stay tuned for that, uh, so, Fuck this. Bye bye. Atari. Put that there. Boom. For some reason, this one I have to go in the settings and redo all the settings each time. I don't know why. I didn't have time to research all the things, the why comes with scan lines so <clears throat> you'll see some of them i've put filters in because uh, some of them just you boot up and the filters are on and i thought they were kind of cool especially when you go with like really really low resolution like you'll see the ti 99 um yeah it actually looks like it seems that these emulators of these old system actually put a lot of thought into the filter of the screen because that was a big part of the system So this is the Atari 400, 800, uh, Atari 5200 version. It's not the same card. Like if you had the 5200 version, it only had, it only went into the 5200 version. But it's exact. I, I looked it up on YouTube. It's exactly the same version. And I can boot it up, see the screen, but I for some reason I can't go forward. And I already had enough uh, emulators, so I said to myself, it's it's enough. And now you, you can't even see it. Poop. I think this resets it. Maybe this? No. Let's restart that. You can hear the fanfare? Whatever. Okay, let's start. What's going on? Uh oh. Uh oh, what's going on? It resets all the settings each time I reload it, so we're good. <laughs> There's that. That's an advantage.
I fucking scan. I have to remove the scan lines because, like, I kind of like because some of them you can just put that like a tiny, tiny line, which I like. Um, but it translate poorly, very poorly on screen, on, on stream. You should have some screen soon. Come on, you can do it. Why does it? Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is the one where the controller is super janky. Right works. And this worked perfectly. What's the problem? Enable joystick, yes. Define the out of joystick. Well, no, that's not right. Well, select joystick there. I want to use my joystick. Whatever. I can say one thing, some of these uh, emulators are not, like, you have this, you're like, oh, configure real joystick? Pad, yes, no, only thing I have, the finally out of keyboard joystick, when I do that, this is what I got. And that's it. So where can I fucking configure my controller? It should be a simple thing. With so many configuration options, you're like, what the fuck's going on? Hey. What 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 can I do? I have to use it. I have to use the keyboard. Yeah, kind of, but it's not my my forte because uh, what the fuck? place a little slower for some reason. I'll just take my time more. So as you can see graphically it's an upgrade from the other one. Especially the the ships or the things when you look at the things in the view. So this is the Atari 400 Call the Atari 8-bit. I'll check your, your link. Yeah, that might help me. Because the wiki wasn't uh, that helpful. already the mine layer, the nomad they call it. So yeah, different uh, configuration of fuck. Different configuration of fox. Apparently I use my photon torpedoes, I don't know where. Harder than the other versions. It's very janky. It's actually like better graphics, but jankier than the 2400 version, I'd say. Like the frame rate or the, the speed of it.
get less points, by the way, if you turn them blue. To get your shield back, but I need it. And apparently all those bars are just the first couple of bars, they can go like higher. Well, it's supposed to. It's supposed to, but I think they they they, they went with better graphics and then they killed the frame rate by doing that. No, I know that 5200 is is faster. Is it was the it it was the Super Nintendo of the Atari. But no, it wasn't. <laughs> it was actually a piece of shit. Mainly because of the controllers. The games weren't that a problem, and it was uh, you could play the old console, like the the old uh, cartridge on on the 5200. But the the they fucked it up. Uh, the manufacturing part, I don't know. They fucked the the controller up, and it completely destroyed the console. It's the sole, I think. It is my opinion. But it's the sole reason that it failed. Everything was fine. It was retro, uh, like retro compatible, retroactively compatible. Okay, I'm doing good here. Yeah, let's take this. Ah, fuck. Oh, these are meteor, meteor shower. Like even when you go in this direction, they even go in that direction. So. A little more difficult than the mines. Yeah, it's from version to version. As you can see, they kind of switched it up. Uh, this is not in the uh, original version. I knew they were enough different that it valued another string. I mean, I didn't want to do one stream of a game, you know, this is, this is not me, this is not this channel. I can't do one stream of a game. Multiple streams, that's how I'm doing it. Oh my god! Yeah, it was expensive. Yeah. I think they were trying to recuperate their loss. No map defeated! is not good or it's just a different type of game but sometimes they just seem to patrol and not even care shoot at you. What the fuck? Oh, I should check it. Yeah, let's, let's heal up. Like this guy, what's he doing? <laughs> He's shooting at me. By the way, I have never played as much as these old console in one sitting since 1983 or something. Like I don't play Atari ever, so me playing all these uh, these version of these games is it's very different from uh, what I usually. Do. But we're doing it. 
because I said I was gonna play all the fucking Star Trek games. I'm not joking, I'm gonna play all the fucking Star Trek games. I said I'm gonna play all the games, I'm gonna play all the games. This version, the guy steals it from you instead of just standing there like a dumbass. <laughs> I still do play a uh, old and sh shitty-ish game. Sometimes just to see where it came from, to see the evolution. But yeah, it is very rare that I play these uh, Safari games. Because I don't think they hold up. Like, even Nintendo. For the longest time, I, I, I thought Nintendo still held up, but... Not anymore. Uh, I, since I started streaming, I came back to Nintendo. It's been a couple of years. And... Oof! My god. It was the... The perfect transition between something that I think is almost unplayable by today's standard for at least more than half an hour or an hour by these games. And and perfectly good, like Super Nintendo generation for me is a, a generation that has not aged at all. It's like you can just play these games. Still good score. There was time to change. We we'll are do to change to the Coleco Vision version. You'll see. Oh well, I want to check your link. The history of Atari game consoles. Atari Pong, Atari video computer system, known as the VCS in the Atari 2600. So they started almost with that. It was a Pong, and then boom, 2600, which was called the VCS at first. I guess. And then the Atari 5200, which followed up uh, at what year? Even here, they're not, they're not clear on the years. No, nope. it's just uh, it talks about. Yeah, this is supposed to be the history of Atari game consoles. And. They say the year of, uh, of the Pong, I think. It says, series exclusive during 1975. Is that what you had? So you add the actual Atari Pong? That's cool. And then the, the Atari computer system, which came out in 1977. And then the Atari 5200, which came out in... Uh, I don't know. Um, there was a notorious... Video game crash in 83, yes, maybe. 83? Was it 85? Oh, 83, okay. Okay, then the Atari 800 first. Uh, which is 1979, I think it's before the 5200, but we'll never know because this is shit. And then the Atari 400, which was in 79, no, they don't say it. 
they just say that they sold an impressive 4 million units between 70 okay maybe it's 79 dude come on you the history of Atari game console you can't even bother to do Atari Pong the year Atari VCS the year Atari 5200 the year Lazy journalism. Uh, the Atari 7800, which is also a piece of shit. Oh, or maybe, no, that's the piece of shit. I don't know. I think they're all, I, I've heard they're pretty much all pieces. Like the 2600 was great, but everything else afterward was like pfft, downhill. The Atari 400 and 800 were better because they were computers, so they were marketed to like, uh, like to do some like tech stuff, um, accounting. Atari 65 XE will never know the year. Yeah, you have to open up the wikis, and there's so many. And like, you have to open up the wiki of every one of these different consoles. Because if you go on the wiki, just Atari uh, console wiki. Uh, Atari uh, they do talk about them but again they're not really clear on the years they are but you have to read the text it's not like like it's it's in there the information's in the fucking wall of text there <laughs> anyways moving on moving on to the Coleco version Boom. There was also an Atari 2800, Japan only, which there isn't much explanation of. So when do we get Ninja Garden 1 3 series of streams? Not soon. I cannot use the. I don't know, not yet. And using the controller here just fucks it up. Okay, so as you can see, a net, a net upgrade from the other version. It's actually pretty, uh, pretty great. It, it's smooth as butter. At least it feels smooth as butter compared to the other version. Uh, they shoot way, they're more aggressive. Yeah, this is the best version to date. This version understood that the radar is the most important part, so it's huge, but I actually like to use the, the, the bottom view in this version, because it's better than the other version. But Oh yeah. This seems like the most faithful to the arcade also.
think the shoe. It's. There we go. They all have their different feel, but they. Definitely the arcade version was the best. It was very smooth, very fun. This is fun. I mean, this is not for the graphic and for the time. Hey, Mac Apple. We'll get to the Apple version. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Control is to shoot the. the... Oh, I don't have any more. Ah, oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the, 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 all the versions are as rootless as the arcade, which uh, at a certain point it becomes. Oh no! Because extremely difficult. Shmup? No, no, not really. <laughs> I wish this was a shmup. I don't think shmups existed when this came out. 1983. Oh, yeah, I, I never. Yeah, I, I usually put the date. Uh, but yeah, all of these are nine. Oh, this is 84. All the other ones are 83. We can do better than this. Oh yeah! And with this emulator, for some reason, I don't know how to... Um, like, I pressed all the fucking buttons, the control... I don't know how to... I have to reset the thing, it seems. I don't know. I don't know if that's how ColecoVision worked, you just reset, <laughs> maybe, it's definitely possible. Definitely possible. So by the way, all these version down that you're seeing, all the version that I'm going to play, so we are at ColecoVision, our Commodore 64 is next. Skill 1 and I suck, let's try skill 4. This kills me inside each time. Ah, wow, okay, okay, skill 4, yeah, skill 4. Video game timeline, oh, that's actually nice, not, not just for the Atari. Yeah, very aggressive. Start with some? Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with uh, skill one. <laughs> I'm not a pro in this game. Definitely not. 
It's loading here, by the way. I'm not waiting. It's actually loading. I could put a save state like here. No save states on this thing. Is this a save state? I don't know. Fuck that. Oh shit. Oh, there you go. right on me. Come on, come on, follow me. Whoop. Ah! Whoop. What the fuck? <laughs> pressing the buttons. I'm sure you can even hear me pressing it. can't get hit when you're like that. Oh, nice. He's not shooting at me? The fuck?
Yeah, this is exactly or almost exactly like the arcade version. Uh, but not the way these ships shoot. Um, in the arcade, they shoot once, there's a little timer, and then they shoot again. Like one, one, two, one. Um, in this, they seem to be. Sh sometimes they shoot twice in a row. It's very bizarre. Woohoo! Good here. Let's kill these guys because they destroy the bases. Very important. Oh, shoot the fucker! Shoot! Ah, what the fuck's going on? We need to move on to another version. Did they go faster when I go faster? Did I see that? When I was warping, they were warping? Okay, I'm not shooting. Yeah, it's dangerous. Okay, it's just not coming here, fucker. There you go. Ooh, wow, this is a good score. Sector 4, holy shit. I think this is the farthest I've ever been. No! Yeah, did you see that? Ah, oh, fucking bullshit! I warped and then they were going faster. Oh wow, they don't fuck around anymore. Thing. Sometimes it just doesn't shoot it for some reason. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh no. Yes, I am fucked. Okay, let's jump into the Commodore 64 version. Commodore 64... Oh yeah, this one is a little bit of a pain. You're a pain. For some reason the joystick here was such a fucking bitch. Um, so I'm using a little program here. What the fuck is it? There we go. Um, yeah, I'll do it as we load up the thing. Start. Oh no, it did start it up. Whoops. I'm sorry. It was actually loading. <laughs> uh, so I want. I don't know, maybe I don't want forward to be... We'll figure it out. It's the chain! No, that's actually perfectly normal. <laughs> oh, the sound is super low for this, uh, for this game. It's fine, the others were blasting, so fuck it. I'm not even gonna go adjust it. Okay, so... Um, yeah, the controller just doesn't work. Uh, 
Okay, F1 to start. And then, okay. Okay, ZX is turning. So, X. And then you have M is forward. is the warp. What's fucking shooting? Okay. Boom. Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Because the Commodore is keeping up with you. <laughs> Was that a, a commercial? Okay, so turning. Yes. Okay, this is warp. This is just going forward. This is shooting. And this is the bomb. Okay, oh, this actually works really good. Okay, it's just... Oh, wow, this is super smooth. Holy shit. So this is Commodore 64, holy crap! Okay, no, this version... This version, we're getting better and better. But as we'll get to the VIG-20, I don't think it'll, it'll go... Whoop. And the DOS version, I'm sorry, I'm a DOS lover, but the DOS version is just... It's the worst of all, you'll see. We'll get there. It's an unofficial version. So there's that. Okay, let's, let's do this for reals. Oh, this one is super slow, like they're they taking their time to attack me. What the hell's going on? Oh yes! <laughs> yeah, the TI and the VIC-20 are... Uh, we'll see, but they're computers, so it's all like... it's different, you know? Oh, oh this is... Uh, this is just funner because it's easier. <laughs> just not a pain in the ass like the other versions. Like all the other versions were so tough compared to this. Oh, I love the flash. When they die, they do that little flashy thing. It looks like so analog and, and perfect. Okay, I don't like this part though. Did I kill it? I fucking think that. <laughs> the warp speed. Uh... What the fuck? Why can't I see it? Yeah, this is a version you can play for for more than five seconds and die immediately. You just stand there in front of it. You don't even see them. Uh, oh no, I'm gonna keep them. Yeah, let's take all the things. Might as well, right? Good evening, Bumfuzzle Game, by the way. Good evening, everyone. Everyone that might have joined us since the last time I created you. Whoa. Yeah, this is a good version. Because it's not a pain. Oh, I just love the whip sound when he... 
Pay close attention when when it, when it'll warp. Maybe there's a time here. Oh, it didn't do it. It wasn't any sound this time. Oh. It doesn't always play the sound. Maybe if there's too much shit going on. Oh, they're a little more aggressive now, you see? Yeah, now you're talking. But even then. They also seem to have uh, adjusted the scoring so that it, the difficulty fits. As you can see, I'm not getting like I'm getting an high score, but it's re relatively uh, normal. I mean, we're not talking like 12 enemies at the same time in the other versions. Oh, that too. Yeah, it's done. We're gonna go back to... Uh... You're saying that like I didn't do it, dude. I did it. I fucking did it. We, did, we played two versions of the mainframe uh, ever, uh, game. Not counting Super Star Trek. But the Star Trek um, 1972 version that is... A bit more scripted, like you can do the Corbomite maneuver and stuff like that. Yeah, we don't joke on this channel, dude. We do it. There is no try. <laughs> I'm playing the Star Trek track is not joking. <laughs> this is not a joke. We are playing all the Star Trek games. If in one stream I can play uh, eight version of a single game, we can do this. Oh shit, this is getting harder. Uh oh, not, not you. I'll just stay here. I swear, it's very dangerous. I, all the other version I'm able to kill the guy, but not in this version. Did I kill him? Maybe. Like, why only two enemies again? Ah, oh, maybe they couldn't do more than two. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, here we go. My family had a TI-9948 as our first ARM computer. We never got much software, much less games. Yeah. On this channel, we, we've played the Colossal Cave Adventures, which is a very, 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 very early game. The first uh, text adventure, the first adventure game. Before that, there was just like pings and pongs and little balls going around, you know. Uh, and then uh, the other really old game we played is the Atari on the mainframe, which was actually kind of a pain to make work and... I'm going to take a little break here and we'll come back for the other four versions. Vic 20 is next. You want to see what it looks like? I hope it doesn't destroy my ears like some other versions. And the C64 version is okay in sound department. All these fucking emulators have different... Uh... Oh, this one takes a while to load. 3,583 bytes free. Whoop! Ready. <clears throat> There's some emulators that you can go into the settings and, and get that. And get those sounds. Audio. Sound. No. No. Oh, wait. And in this version, there's even... Of audio leak emulation. Listen. Oh wow, it's so faint. You'll have to boost the sound, but you can hear a faint little. It's very faint. Oh yeah, it'll load for a while because I didn't put the cartridge in. Oh uh oh. Oh no, this doesn't load. This is a cartridge. It's not a disc. PCM needs drive noise. Is 
is there like a loading a rolling uh... yeah this version doesn't doesn't look great you'll see you'll see after the break or if I press F1 and it's actually starting the game Oh no, it's not so bad, you see, but like there's the flickering, and anyways, we'll see that uh, when we come back. Laura's back. Yeah, F1 starts the game. Ooh, I like the sounds. And this is fast as fuck. Okay, this is extremely smooth, almost almost too smooth compared to the other version I played. Um, yeah, the graphics aren't that good though. The graphics are shit, but at least it's smooth. So you have to, you have to balance these things, and some of these console did, did, did poorly um, even the Coleco version which I think looks good but it's 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 not smooth and the Atari 5200 version is not smooth these look at how the bullets go so slowly at me it's weird this is a weird version. But it's a little... Whoa! Seizure warning! Holy fucking shit! I like it though, but yeah, that's dangerous, dude. Don't do that. <laughs> what the fuck's your problem? Like, I understand back then they just didn't know, but but these are emulators that were made recently. Maybe they should have a little warning here that says, like, uh, these games, they, they do flash a lot, dude. I keep getting hit. Really typical pew-pew uh, sound. Weirdly enough, maybe the... For me, the most typical of them all. Oh. 
This is my typical Atari sound in my head, but the Atari didn't really sound like that. Let's restart this whole thing. Can we restart by pressing F1? <laughs> Come on! What the fuck? <laughs> you have to wait till I die? Oh man! Okay. Okay, I'll try to be like farther away from them. Ah oh, shit. And I don't know why the screen is kind of like on the on the left. Okay, let's reload. It's weird because when I look at the map, the guy is on my left, not from the ship, but he's actually on my right uh, down there. That's why sometimes I, I just can't seem to aim because I'm actually looking at the, 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 the little mini map up, up there because I think it's, it's more useful. But yeah, mastering this game is mastering the, the, the two screens at the same time. Oh, and it gets faster when there's only one left. Oh, typical. Oh, my. Uh, oh, this is different. Shit. Wow, this is crazy. What the fuck? Oh, man, I'll never kill the guy. Can I destroy the... The things? The, the bullets? I think I killed him? Yes, I did. Ow. Oh, that's a lot of people. Oh, did I launch a bomb? I didn't even see it. No. What is the bomb? Ah. Uh. Then. What's, what's warp? Oh, yeah, warp is like. Oh, my God. It's like a combination of button. The Atari 20. Whoa. Oh my. They're always facing me, you'll see, like this guy, this yellow guy, clearly looking at the base, but he's always looking at me when I uh, look at the map. Uh, if you compare that to the other versions, that's... I think all of them? I want to say some of them, but I'm pretty sure all of them had the correct perspective of the ship when you're looking at him. So if you're looking at him from the side, he's actually going on the side. And like, he's like this. Take that. Oh, I can't. As you can see, it was going faster. Oh, the fucking nomad. 
Eh, I tried to kill him. Does he take more than one shot? Some of the games, the um, yeah, this is definitely not one of the best version. It's it's cool, but it seems they had to do fuck sh destroy it. What? No, again, I'm not. I'm not looking down. <laughs> Yeah, they had to do some sacrifice, like the speed of the bullets, why are they so slow? It is the only version that as you kill more people, it goes faster. <clears throat> Which is not good. I'm pretty sure the DOS version will do that also. Okay, so let's skip to the next version. The TI ninety nine. Press any key to what this. I think this is keyboard. Oh yeah, I have to enter the, the cartridge. What? Recent. Boom. And you press 2 for Star Trek. <laughs> we should do IT Basic just to see what it is. Okay. I can say that the screen looks awesome. Uh, not a lot of colors, but the Enterprise looks like the fucking Enterprise. figure it out. Hmm. I have to check the manual maybe? Oh! J, J? Press redo or back? Back. Uh, redo? <laughs> what the fuck is the redo key? Wow. Uh, Nothing. Wow, there's not many options. I can't really do anything with the keys. Press redo or back. It's not backspace. Seeing the F keys. Oh, F9? Maybe? Okay, J is shooting, H. Oh, H is going, it's going forward. Oh, okay. No, H is warp. K is going forward and L is, okay. Okay, and yeah, I'll put it on the controller. Um, so this is turning. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, forward is K, is that it? Yeah. Forward is K. <laughs> uh, shooting is J. H, maybe? Four. Yeah, H is this, and. Okay. Uh, 
blop, 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 blop. Hey, Saxon man, how's it going? You know, this is not bad. It's not bad. Uh, F9. Hey, I'm good. Book of the war, Captain. Entering sector 1.1. Eh. <laughs> I was trying to turn, it just didn't turn. Entering sector 1.2. It's weird because I feel there's some kind of evolution from the like I've put them in the correct order, I feel. Like in some kind of uh, whoop. Uh, or there is a, what the fuck? <sighs> yeah, these also always look in front of you. This TI and the Vic version seem similar. The bullets go slower. The ship look at you. Ah. Oh wait a minute. There you go. This is the same, instead of going blue, and they become transparent, and instead of being purple, these guys are uh, yellow or white or uh, paler than... Can you, can you say that? Paler? Entering sector 1.5 one, one, Okay, okay, I get it. I can't press six buttons at the same time. It's just a limitation of the console. Yeah, I, I, I can't shoot and turn at the same time. It just doesn't work. I guess I need it. Oh my, avoiding mines, Captain. Okay, okay, this is a little slower, manageable. Again, I'm trying to... Entering sector 2.1 Man, this is janky as fuck. You cannot do six things at the same time. You can only go forward, turn, shoot, or one of these things, one at a time. It's just, oh fuck! Oh, they're supposed to be super fast when they do that, but here they're, they're not. Man, that was shit. Oh, which means that you can't even, oh my god. Yeah, this is not, no, this is not the best version. <laughs> My god, just because of the controls. Okay, let's shoot the thing. Nice. Entering sector 2.3. How about. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying my old strategies, but they do not work. Ouch. Uh-oh. Yeah. There's no reason to continue playing this. Let's jump into the Apple version. I can't remember it was good, this one. I can't remember it. Let's see. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this is one, this is one is cracked. And this is not my fault. I downloaded this on archive.org, which is an official site where they usually put like, where you can find old games and stuff like that. And it's so funny because 
apparently Apple games can be played with MAME, but I tried it with MAME, but I couldn't get it working fa like fast enough for myself. So fuck it. I'm just going to install. This was Enhanced Apple Emulator, which is called. Um, uh, but before that, I tried the game on the site, because you can actually go to archive.org, Star Trek, uh, arcade version, uh, Apple version, and you'll get this. And it says Crack by Dr. Micro, which is hilarious. No, we don't want any cheats. So I think this is keyboard? I don't think there was any joystick on the Apple. Oh no, this is, oh, this is not a great version, I think. Welcome aboard, Captain. No sound, nothing. Sound is really loud. Sound speaker. Let's put it right there. <laughs> My ears get pooey. No sound anymore. What the fuck? What? What happened? Oh wow, can you hear it? You can't even hear it anymore. <laughs> okay. Why was it so loud? Okay. Wow, this is not, not linear at all. It's kind of an exponential volume, it's very weird. Uh, let's restart this whole thing. Yeah, reboot. Okay, one. Let's do this. You have to use the joystick, which is not fun because it's an analog joystick. <laughs> and up. Yeah. Oh my god. What the fuck? Shoot at it. Oh, this is very different. Doesn't feel good though. Oh my god. Yeah. And it's more than one shot to kill them? And they are very aggressive as you can see. That sound, the cling cling. It's like the sound when you kill people in asteroid or something. Not asteroid, uh, space invader. Like this, this sound. Fucking space invader sound. Yeah, like cool effects and stuff like that, but just for the the feeling. Uh, most of these versions, the console version, were better. Like these are computers, like the, the TI-99, the VIC-20 are kind of computers. Even the Commodore 64 was a computer. Commodore 64 version was actually one of the one of the best. But here, yes, the down, the the lower screen there is really nice. It, it, it's fluid, um, detail. Very difficult to. Uh, oh, uh, what's the button? To, oh, back. Yeah, back to warp is really. That's a great choice. That's a really great choice. Maybe it's only one shot and it takes a while. 
before he dies. Man, die! No? I'm not even shooting at him. Okay, we can do better. I actually want to play this, as you saw, the Vic and TI version. I kind of has them relatively quickly because, uh, yeah, not, uh, not the best. Uh, but this is very difficult. I don't know how to. Uh, and they st they start you with two. Oh yeah, I really need to check uh, my my view screen. Yeah. These sounds. What the fuck are these sounds? Try to avoid any of these things. They keep shooting. They don't stop. Apple users are hardcore. This is by far the hardest version. It's borderline unplayable, I, I feel, like, compared to the other versions. If this was the only thing you've ever played in your life, you'd be like, Ooh, this is cool, but why did they make it so difficult? Why do these guys keep shooting? This is the only version that the guys shoot constantly. So, I'm gonna try it again, but... Fuck that. Okay, let's kill you. Okay, turn. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, that worked. I already have no shields. Oh no, I don't see it in this version. Oh, come on. Okay, it's not so bad. I should get some more shields. And I get hit immediately. All the versions have had a solution to um, to avoiding the bullets. Here it seems you need to warp. You need to turn around, shoot, and warp. He shoots, I turn around, I shoot, and I, I quickly shoot, and then I warp, I don't know. Oh yeah, I can warp directly in front of him. When I warp, I am invincible. That's the thing I wasn't sure at first when I played. But this is slow, the sounds are shit, might as well have no sound. Difficulty is crazy. The score is not even close to a, a score similar to the uh, other game when you were at Sector 1.6, for example. It's like a completely different score. All the other ones had a similar scoring scheme, 
where getting a hundred thousand is nice and getting to two hundred thousand is pretty hard but here if I get to twenty thousand it'll be great am I dead? no okay oh, I was trying to warp Okay, I'm gonna give him one last shot, but yeah. They start with two shields on top of that. <laughs> it's the only version that they start you with two shields. Shoot, warp, no. Shoot, warp. It's crazy. Shoot, warp. I don't have to turn around. I can just warp. get to to the nomad yeah I didn't see any other level than this like no mine layers let's take this you're so slow it's crazy ah oh, I thought I shot him yeah my score is shit Trying to shoot and go like that, I was doing that in all the version and it kind of worked. Not in this version, you have to stop in front of the guy. My god, look at that, why is it so slow? Because of the number of things in the screen? There's nothing! Yeah, now we're, now we're at normal speed. Actually, pretty incredible how slow the game was for like what six things on the screen. One point six. Ah, uh, this is the nomad part. What? This is different. No, it's not the nomad part. Oh my god. Ah, oh, this feels bad. This, this is not fun. I said it was fun before, but I was wrong. Oh my god. Boom! Kill all of them. Almost in one shot, that was good though. I guess that works. 2.1, woohoo! Oh, nice. Oh, I thought I killed the layer. Shit. Pfft. Oh, now you have a mine layer stage. What? Yeah, these stages are all over the place. Who made this port? This is one of the worst port of the bunch. I kind of did not expect that from the apple. Oh yeah, I got my points now. 52,000. We're back at normal normal pointage at this point. My god. Uh, uh. 
There you go. Look at how slow it is. My God. <sighs> hey, Yor. Doing good. This version of the game is not good. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the slowdowns! Oh, fuck it. Fuck it, we're dead. Whew, the Apple II is struggling! Okay, we're done with this version. Boop! It's DOS time. It's the DOS version. The DOS version is not an official version. At least, I couldn't find any information on anything in, like, official on it the wiki doesn't talk about it uh, but it exists <laughs> oh since i didn't have really any time to set up something like simple um, and of all the emulators i understand finally why people are so uh, have trouble with uh, with dos box is because all the other emulators that i downloaded are pretty much all open the rom it just starts. But DOS box, no, no, sorry. You have to mount the thing. So you mount C. For those who don't know, this is a tutorial on the DOS box. So you mount your C as C. That so my real uh, folder is the game games DOS. So I'm saying that games DOS will become the, the real C. If I go at C here and I, I do this, there's a bunch of stuff there um, that was there before. But the main thing is uh, Star Trek.com. Star Trek.com. Boom. Star Trek and uh, indicates a trademark of Paramount Picture. This was for the release of the movie, by the way. Ugh. Uh, this last, as you can see, we're at DOS. We went through all the version and I highlighted every one of them. We just did Apple II. This is the DOS version. Uh, you're correct, but uh, oh, maybe you're right. Maybe it was Wrath of Khan. Yeah, yeah. Maybe this was after the first movie. The first movie was what, like 80? Motion. Seventy nine. Oh, yeah, it was later. You literally have to put it in a particular folder so Mountain can screw it up. Try to get Daughter of Serpents to work. Oh, okay. <laughs> Challenge accepted. I don't think it's going to be a problem unless there's no information on the internet. So, this is going to be keyboard only. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh, at least it's smooth. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, here you can change the. Oh yeah, this version. Okay. <laughs> no, this is the voice version. So in this version, you always go forward unless you press. Uh... What? There's a way to stop, right? There's no way to stop. As you can see, it looks like a port of the Apple version, which is not the good version. Right? They started me at... Um, with two shields, no? I'm not sure. Very possible, because this came out on everything, so if you had some of these console back then. So when you press right, it just turns un until you press right again or forward no you press forward to stop spinning 
It's so weird. You press left, it spins. You press forward, stop spinning. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. You start with three shields instead of two. But it's four, usually. Yeah, back does this. Pressing up stops back, because when you press it, it's like a toggle. Yeah, this version is fucked up. Apparently you can't stop in this version. You can't stop! It's very bad, what the fuck? I don't know how to play this. The fact that you're always going forward is such bullshit. Because usually I stop, aim, and now I can't do that. I don't know. Maybe there's controls on the net. Hey, FA! I can play it online here. Let's see if it's the same thing. It's actually slower, so maybe I should put that slower. No, same, same problem. Unless there's a button to stop. Uh, usually DOS game would go with spacebar, enter, control, shift, and that's it. So if these don't do anything. This is the uh, strategic command simulator. We'll actually play the main version after this because I need a palette cleanser after this crap. But yeah, the fact that you have to stop. No, I can't do this. <laughs> this is literally unplayable. Okay, fuck it. Anyways, it wasn't even a real version, so. Yeah, let's play the main version. We played it uh, Sunday, but uh, yeah, it'll 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 be different. <laughs> Because let's go back to the Atari. I want to go back to the Atari. Just to see it. Just, just a second. Because it's been a while. How was it? Oh yeah. It's, it's, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It looks like shit, but oh my god. Oh my god. Does it play well? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, wow, yeah, wow, yeah, 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 yeah. The consoles version, the, like Atari, um, the Atari 8 bit version was meh, Coleco version was okay, but it was a little slower, better graphics, slower. C64, I think, was good, but it had problems. Uh, and the Vic and TI ninety nine was really meh. So yeah, let's play the um, the main version, the original version. The fuck? Main. Is it set to capture? A 
doesn't seem like it's capturing it. This should work with this one. Welcome on board, Captain. There we go. So this is the actual uh, version of the game. Okay, yeah. Now it's all coming back to me. Oh man, so so good. This is a really good game. Entering sector one point two. I don't know why it's glitching right now. But yeah, they shoot once, and then they give you the time to react, shoot once, give you the time to react, shoot once. It's not like the other versions. Entering sector 1.3. And the, the little uh, beep 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 when you're, when you're on him really, really helps. They thought about these things, you know? Entering sector one point four. It, they just didn't shit, shit it. Uh, oh, oh. I can't remember what was the button to... Um... Ah, okay. That worked. Entering sector one point five. Yes, this is arcade nineteen eighty three also. I'm having some trouble remembering all the controls. Entering sector 1.6. Why is it running like shit now? So if you're fast enough, you can just kill the guy immediately. Gives you a shitload of points. Entering sector 5200 version it's not that great it's okay anyways that's it for tonight guys hope you enjoyed the Star Trek uh, the Star Trek trick um, that will be all for Star Trek for now um, I need to finalize uh, I have a file that I need to finalize so I can share it with you without being ashamed of myself and my actions um i just want to get it here okay so like i made the list on the left there's a list like of the the games i want to play in chronological orders they're not all there there's some weird game that are called galaxy that are kind of star trek games because they ships look like star trek or whatever but I'm going with the Star Trek games, the one that they actually had to pay license to uh, to do. Um, so, but not the mainframe games, not the DOS game here. You know, back then they didn't give a shit. Lawyer, lawyers weren't as aggressive, let's just say. Uh, and it didn't take too long before their their eye of Sauron looked at video games and were like, "Ooh, <laughs> let's fuck them up." So there was the Star Trek. Uh, 
mainframe game, 1971, that was the first Star Trek game. Then in 72, there was another Star Trek game that another guy made that is similar but different. Then there's Super Star Trek, which is kind of an upgrade to the Star Trek game from 71. The Super Star Trek game is a, a Star Trek game that a, a lot of people have played. Uh, after that, in 81, there's Star Trek for DOS, and in 82, there's Super Star Trek for DOS, which I kind of skipped. We're going to go back to them after this. Um, and then there's the Star Trek Arcade, we, we just played, Star Trek the Arcade game, plus all the other versions. Um, so we're going to go back to the Star Trek DOS and Super Star Trek DOS. That's going to be in the next streams after... Indiana Jones. So Thursday we're can, we're we're uh, jumping from Star Trek to Indiana Jones, the point and click adventure game, Last Crusade. So we're gonna play Last Crusade. After we're done with Last Crusade, we're gonna go back to Star Trek, and I'm doing that like Star Trek, another game, Star Trek, another game. So uh, and we're gonna go with some DOS text adventure games. But before that, I'll do one stream where we're gonna go back to the DOS, uh, Star Trek, and Super Star Trek game. So we're gonna play the Star Trek DOS game, the Super Star Trek DOS game, and then we're gonna play Star Trek, the Kobayashi Alternative, which is a text game made by Simon, Scuster, and Interactive. They made a bunch of them. Not always the same guys that made the game, but those were the, the, the publishers. So it, they had the rights to do Star Trek games, uh, and they all seem kind of similar, maybe all on the same engine, but it's not always the same people that made the game. So they might actually be different. We'll see when we get there. Uh, there's like four of them. There's Kobayashi Alternative, Promethean Prophecy, The Rebel Universe, First Contact, which has nothing to do with the movie or anything. That's an 88. All of these, like 85, 86, 87, 88, they all go boom, 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 boom. Then 89, there's Star Trek V, The Final Frontier. This one was made by Mindscape. Um, and then there's Star Trek The Next Generation. Transenium Challenge. But since it's a Next Generation game, I might put it back, uh, put, play it when we'll get to the Next Generation stuff. We'll try to stay in the TOS area before jumping into the Next Generation stuff, even though the games kind of uh, inter, uh, interconnect. The series did also. Um, but like by 89, we were already like way into the next generation stuff, but they were still doing uh, all Star Trek games. And yeah. So that, that will be the future and there's other games there. But again, I have to finalize this file and, and share it with you guys. So tomorrow we're continuing Baldur's Gate and Thursday it's Indiana Jones. If all this seemed like the rambling of an old man, which it actually is. Sometimes I, I'm, I'm like, do they understand what I'm saying? <laughs> do they actually listen? Hmm. Let's raid Fraggle Rock. Uh, there was a Star Trek game I had in all 80s and I can't remember what it's called. Nor find it. Well, it must be the Star Trek game. Star Trek or Super Star Trek. If you look it up on YouTube. Pretty sure it's gonna be that. So thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great evening. Um, tomorrow, Baldur's Gate, and Thursday, the, the schedule is uh, on the panels below. And uh, you can also check on Discord. I link Discord here. So thanks for hanging out, guys. See you next time. Ciao. Thank you for your cooperation. Good night. I'll buy that for a dollar.